So welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Gemini. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, tell me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Gemini. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, if you choose to, you could ask me a question in the comment section. And I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. I want to apologize in advance for any background noise you may hear due to the dog snoring. All right. I scurried the pink gem for you today before starting the video. And the image that showed up for you is very interesting. It can be interpreted in different ways. Um, what showed up was a man and he was lying down and he had his shirt open. And he had a lion's face. So he had like this very fierce lion's head on a man's body. And there was a domestic house cat that was lying down, you know, kind of like in a crouched lying down position, staring at the man. So this could be interpreted in many ways. And this could represent the uh, lion within you or the lion within the person that is involved in this reading, you know, where they have this like great inner strength and, uh, it could represent that there could be a two-faced individual that's causing some type of drama within your life. Uh, this could be a false friend with a cat being there. And they don't realize that they're bringing out the inner lion within you. You know, they, you are not um, like a domestic cat. You, the fierceness in you, within you is like a lion's rage is what that could be representing. Uh, you could be dealing with a Leo possibly with there being the lion um, head there. And it could also represent in the context of the devil goes around like a lion looking for someone to devour so there could be up to two people possibly that could be you know causing some type of drama within your life but take it how it resonates it'll apply differently to everyone now if the video clicks off as you know i will make the second half to the video now the first card to flip out for you today is the two of feathers so with the two of feathers being here this is god tests abraham's faith then God said, take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moria. I'm probably pronouncing that name wrong, so I apologize. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering in a mountain. I, in, on a mountain, I will show you. So this is representing when Abraham was tested and told to sacrifice his son, Isaac, whom he deeply loved. But it was a test to see if he would be willing to do it. Now, of course, the angel of God came down on God and his orders. You know, God told the angel to come down and stopped Abraham from sacrificing his son. And it was just a test to see if we love God more than, you know, even the most person that we is closest to us in this world. You know, this could be, you know, our relatives or whoever it could be that you love so much. You always are supposed to love God first and foremost because God gives us the people that we love. He gives us the animals and all things that we love truly with all our heart. And we are always supposed to love God more because he is our creator. He is our father. So it's a representation of always putting God first. Now, the two of feathers also has the representation of, you know, a difficult decision, inner conflict, moment of, you know, stalemate, test of faith and morality, need for reflection and clarity. So, you know, you could be going through that right now. And I feel like how the cards flipped out, you could be going through the situation where perhaps someone that you very deeply care about. And that was clarified by the Ten of Wands. So you are going through possibly some type of burdens right now, something that feels very heavy upon you here with the Ten of Wands, because that was clarified by the lovers. Now with the lovers being here, this is like your soulmate energy. This is your other half. And I feel like you'd be going through a situation right now where you're being tested or your significant other is being tested or you both are being tested here with the lovers. So there is some type of burden that's upon you guys. And that's clarified by the Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment and dreams coming true within your love. But there is a test that is coming. But we will get into this deeper in the second half of the video.